I'm going to do a quick video of how I uh, calculate how many uh, milliamp hours I can actually draw out of a battery. Uh, the battery I've got here is actually a Hobby King 4 cell battery rated at uh, 4,400 milliamp hours. So I'm just going to show you how I use my uh, Cell Pro Paralab 8 and uh, work out what capacity I can uh, pull out of a battery. My uh, 4 cell battery plugged into my uh, balancing board and currently it's showing 16.41 uh, volts. Uh, so it's, it's a four cell battery and it's showing uh, I've got 90% capacity left. Okay, the first thing I do is set my uh, charger here to go into uh, battery discharge mode. Okay, I'm going to set my uh, discharge rate to 15 amps. Set it to discharge only. Got my jacks, checking the pack. And it's now discharging. Okay, what my charge is saying here is going to discharge at uh, 15 amps on the four cells and it's going to discharge down to 3.3 volts per cell. Okay, we're about halfway through the discharge. Uh, you can hear my uh, Paralab 8 uh, cooling fans on, it's getting pretty warm. Now as you can see, uh, cell 1 seems to be performing pretty badly. It's down to 3.4 volts on that cell where everything else is at uh, 3.7. So it may well uh, finish a little bit quicker. This pack's probably about a year and a half old. So I'm not really expecting uh, too much from it. Okay, the discharge is finished uh, fairly early. Uh, it managed to draw about uh, 2 amps altogether. Now I've got one dodgy cell, which seems to be cell one. So what I'm going to do now is go into the charge cycle. So no parallel packs. I'll set my charge rate at about five amps. It's uh, it's rated at four C for charging these batteries. I'm just going to charge it just over one C, so about five amps. Okay, so it says the pack's at 18%, which is pretty good. I wouldn't really want to discharge it any more than uh, than 20%. So 18, I'm, I'm pretty happy with. So there's my uh, cell voltages. So you can see cell one is a little bit below on the other cells. Uh, so the battery's about a year and a half old. It's probably had about 200 cycles through it. So uh, I'm not really expecting too much from it. So we'll sit back and uh, I'll see how much charge I'm putting into it. So at the moment, I've pushed in just the uh, well, 12, about 12 milliamps. So uh, we'll sit and see how much we can push it to uh, to full capacity, and then I'll know what this uh, battery is like. Uh, I reckon it's probably going to go up to about two amps at the max. So I know this uh, pack's pretty rooted. About halfway through the charge, uh, as you can see, the the cells seem to be balancing pretty well. But as I said, I definitely have a problem with cell one. Uh, even though it's showing a good balance, when it comes to actually drawing any uh, current from it, it seems to be failing pretty badly. So uh, we'll see how we go. Okay, we just hit the 60% uh, mark, and I've just put in about 600 milliamps. So it's not looking good. Uh, it's possible uh, an amps, and that's probably about it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I've just hit about 90% uh, of my charge. Uh, it does actually look like cell four's got an issue. Um, the internal resistance is uh, three and a half uh, milli ohms, where all the others are about two. Um, two seems to be okay with this older pack. Uh, the older the pack, the uh, the higher the internal resistance. So it probably does look like this has uh, got multiple problems with this uh, this pack. Okay, my pack's just hit 100%. I'll just have a look how many uh, milliamp hours I've pushed into it. So. 2115 it's still going up the uh, charge hasn't quite switched off yet but uh, it's showing that this uh, battery is uh, about 50 percent uh, capacity of what it should be what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to give it a full discharge again so i'm going to go from 100 percent battery down to um the uh, the 3.3 volts cell by using the uh, the discharger feature just to verify my uh, readings on that Okay, 
Okay, so uh, the cells are now discharged. Uh, it says it's down to 20% capacity, which is pretty good. And there you go. So I've managed to uh, draw uh, 2.061 amps out of this pack. Uh, as the pack was rated originally at 4.4 amp hours, uh, I can safely assume this uh, thing's going to go in the bin. <laughs>